war situations, uh, the symbol of the Red Cross uh, has been very much a symbol of assurance and humanitarian assistance. ICRC has rich experience of 150 years and because of our reach through our volunteers all through the country, there's a great scope of our working together. We take help of the ICRC to come and talk on subjects like international humanitarian law. India has solutions to many issues that we face in other contexts around the world. So I think having uh, at people from our highest level, um, this, is, this is very important to, to build relationships with, with, um, with the Indian government. We at the ICSC share a lot of common issues with a country like India, absolutely. Both in India but also abroad. This country is a great country. I have a clear vision that over the next 20 years, uh, India will be very central to our work and I think and I hope we will be central to the work and to the vision, at least the humanitarian visions of, of, of India. I do think the partnership with the Indian Red Cross as, as a partnership which is absolutely critical for us. We all know that in India, as in worldwide, people don't always distinguish our institution. They think it's the Red Cross. So I think one of my objectives is really to look at carefully how can we do together better. I think it is possible. See, Indian Red Cross uh, has been working with ICRC for many years, way back uh, since 19. 15 or so, so there is a lot of uh, uh, for us to learn from ICRC's experience. We also looking very keenly forward to a new program that is the uh, Carter of Certified First Medical Responders. For Afghan people, for, for Afghan uh, leaders, the situation over the next coming weeks, months will be complex. This was the first time I have interacting with the DG, but we have been having regular interaction with the uh, country heads. And we've also been interacting with your heads from Afghanistan, from Sri Lanka. So it's an ongoing process. And today we learned about the perspectives of the ICRC in Afghanistan and the challenges they will face and the challenges the international community will face and how we can work together. There is a very strong recognition including in India, that Afghanistan will go through a difficult period. It has already quite a tough years behind them, but I think the Afghan population will go through a difficult time, especially this transition time where things are unclear, and it will have an impact on the people, both in terms of access to health, violence. So for the ICNC, I think the key word is a dynamic adaptation. You have also tensions even in Syria now, if you look, or in Mali or Libya, of different nature. We as an organization, the International Committee of the Red Cross, we are working in Syria. But it's an incredibly painful operation to be able to have just access to the people, to be able to just carry out our humanitarian actions as we should be able to do. That's just for us ICSE. Imagine just what it means for the people when the war comes to you constantly. So it will affect the people, it, it, and it is affecting the region. India should be prepared, because it must, uh, to assume a more active role in, uh, internationally in uh, dealing with these issues, which are now going to press more heavily, increasingly so, on the international communities. Health service in most of these countries, so access, pure access to health, has become more difficult for average people. Um, in Iraq, at the peak of the uh, very, very intense uh, civil war, um, there was uh, 600, a bit more, of doctors who were killed. The reason for that is 50% of the doctors in Iraq left the country in a year. So when we talk about health structure, it's not just about the structure, it's also about the people. On being the champion as issues as important as respect of medical worker, yes and the medical missions. I think India can play a very important role. We do recognize the importance of healthcare in danger and certainly other things that the director told us. When there is conflict situations, naturally, the availability of the healthcare facility itself goes down. Please, 
to celebrate with you tonight in New Delhi, in India, the 150th anniversary of, of the ICSC. And if you would look at some of the photos, you would quickly see that the relationship between ICSC and India is a very long one. They have played a very useful role, as you know, in the last 150 years in war situations uh, and dealing with the very unfortunate consequences uh, of conflict. And uh, therefore, uh, its uh, role as an important international organization should be supported by all democratic countries. How do we together look at the world of tomorrow? India as a country also has a role to play, ICIC, but also with you, ladies and gentlemen, in your different functions, we are ready for the next 150 years.